How's it going, Rogues Gallery, and welcome to another Flesh and Blood video here on Red Zone Rogue. Today, we are talking about two Flesh and Blood peripherals that you can use to spice up your Flesh and Blood experience. They both come from a partner of Red Zone Rogue, Dragon Shield. We have the new Dragon Shield Flesh and Blood app. It is totally free. We'll go over it. I think it's actually really cool and very, very responsive and fast, and I, I, I highly recommend it, as well as some excellent new Dragon Shield Flesh and Blood sleeves. We're going to compare them to the old sleeves and see if they keep that quality. I do have an affiliate link with Dragon Shield in the description down below, so if you'd like to go and buy some Dragon Shield products, maybe some dual mat sleeves, maybe some of these new Flesh and Blood sleeves, or anything else, using that link goes and supports me, and I greatly appreciate it. I will also have my own custom Red Zone Rogue Dragon Shield sleeves on redzonerogue.com. I already have some on there, but I have some new ones coming in the next month or so with the new Red Zone Rogue card back that uh, here's a little prototype image of it, a work in progress image. The final one is done. The sleeves are being made now and they look so good. I cannot wait for them. We'll do an official video on that when the time comes. Just know that they're on the way and check out redzonerogue.com and Dragon Shield. Anyway, without further ado, let's take a look at these two flesh and blood kind of peripherals is what I'm gonna call them that will spice in up your flesh and blood experience. All right, so before we get to these, which look absolutely phenomenal, let's talk about the new flesh and blood Dragon Shield app. On the Google Play Store app, if you just type in fab, it is actually this one that just says fab scanner Dragon Shield by Arcane Tinman apps which is, you know, Arcane Tinman is the company of Dragon Shield, basically. All right, so here's the app. We'll just quickly go over it. I've been testing it here and there. I've kind of cleared my inventory so I can show you how it goes a little bit, though I still have a couple, a couple in there. You can uh, add decks um, if you'd like to, you know, have a list of all of the decks that you have. You can have a wish list. You can set up alerts, a trade list, and this uh, sold list, which is coming soon. But what I found the most useful, at least for me personally, is the inventory and the scanner app to look up the pricing of cards because I don't really keep up with that kind of stuff, to be honest. I don't know how much the cards are worth. So, for example, I pulled these here. Say you pulled a cold foil Coronet Peak from your packs of Uprising and you're like, hmm, how much is this worth? Maybe you're at your local game store at an event, you don't know how much this is worth and maybe you wanna trade it in because you don't really need the card or whatever. So you can go to the scanner app and all you have to do is just line it up. I have a lot of uh, shiny lights on, but it still worked. Through the sleeve and through the shine, it still worked. So here we have Coronet Peak. You can see uh, in detail what the card does. You can change uh, the language if it had a different language currently. We only have the English version. Uh, you can also look at prices. Uh, I set this to TCG player low, but you can set that uh, to something else if you would like. Um, I do believe you're able to use um, EU card market, but um, you have uh, pricing for uh, uprising uh, for the rainbow foil, oops, and then for the cold foil here. So I have a cold foil one, uh, and then you can also like add it to your list here. So say, uh, say I let's pretend I didn't already have this here. We can go add, to inventory and then you can kind of make your own folders and add it to there. So I made like a little uprising folder here and then I can add it to that. And you can adjust the price as you see, you can adjust the condition as you see. We have a super mint one because I've literally just pulled this in a pack. Well, I pulled it at the world premiere but I really haven't played it very much. And then you just hit uh, save. You can change it if, if, if it's rainbow foil or cold foil. So since our version is actually cold foil, we want to go here to this edit function and we want to go to the cold foil version. Cold Foil version, and it's a Cold Foil version. $250, TCG player low. Pretty good, not not too bad, not too bad. And you hit save, and then it adds in, here you can see like the, the three here, and it'll give you like the condition and all of that good stuff. And then we can go and go back to our lists, go to the inventory, and then see it there. So let, let's do a card that I don't already have there. So let's do this, uh, let's do this erase face. So let's go back to the scanner app, and then we will scan that in, boom, instant. It's so quick. It's even quicker if, if you didn't have like the glare in the, in the sleeves. So uh, erase face, uh, we can go to detail to see what it is, prices. We just have a regular version of it. Wow, this card's worth a lot, more than I thought. 27 bucks, that's pretty good. Though the, the set hasn't officially come out in the US here yet. Um, 
and we can even click this button and that'll take us to the actual TCG player store where we can see that if we wanted to buy a copy or whatever else. So let, let's go back here. Um, we'll go to our lists and we're like, we don't have this yet on our list. We'll add it because I have a copy of it. Add to inventory, add to uprising. And then here we can change if it's rainbow foil or not. Uh, ours is not rainbow foil. Let's just say it's near mint and uh, boom. Now we have it. And here you can have, it just shows like your inventory for all of the cards and whatnot. And if we wanted to go see like the proper list, we can go back to the inventory, click on uprising and look, oh, there it is. And it would, you'd have a list of all your cards, how much they're worth. It's just a really nice way to keep track of your collection. I think it's super useful. Um, I, I do plan on, you know, doing this more often. Um, you can also see like, you know, daily movers, weekly movers, um, if you have the premium for weekly and the monthly. And um, yeah, I think this is just a really, really useful app. It's free, uh, unless you wanna do like the premium stuff. And then there's other things here as well. Um, this is not a secret, redzonerogue at gmail.com is my personal Red Zone Rogue uh, email. And there's just a bunch of other settings. So you can, you know, go to their uh, help and support, Sleeve Crafter, the Dragon Shield website, all that kind of stuff. I think this app's great. I think you should give it a shot. And uh, it's literally just free. So it's definitely worth it. And I was so surprised at how quickly the things scan in. Like, like check this out. Boom. It's, it's so quick. Now let's go back. Do it again. Boom. It's so good. It's so good. Here, let's even do a foil one. Let's see if it'll get it. Boom. Instant. Yeah. Uh, really good. Uh, how much is this thing worth? Fog down. 14 bucks. Wow. That's <laughs> more than I thought. Well, anyway, so that that's the... Uh, Dragon Shield, Flesh and Blood app. Um, on my phone, it's just called FAB, FAB. But um, I think it's super useful and it's something that I will be using more in the future. Um, I might even go ahead and go for that the premium Dragon Rider subscription. I'm not sure yet, but uh, we'll see. Until then, let's talk about these because these are the brand new Flesh and Blood Uprising Dragon Shield sleeves. And if I had to guess, I would say they are the same like quality as the previous ones and the quality was so good. So here we have uh, Dromai. These are all matte textured sleeves. So they're not the brushed art, they're actually matte. Um, they have a little bit of, you know, flavor. They have the box here, you can add the stuff. This one is Icelander. And my favorite part about these sleeves is they are full art, no nonsense, no logos on the actual card. So let's open up this box of uh, Phi sleeves and we will give it a shot here. And we can compare it to some of the other sleeves because I do have, um, you know, my decks in some of the other sleeves. And I also have some of the uh, other new sleeves too, like the um, some of the, the dragon sleeves here, like these dragons of legend. So yeah, let's open up these Phi sleeves. We're gonna open up all three of them here um, just to see, but uh, I really like these sleeves. Oh, dude, <laughs> those look so good. Look at that, that looks so good. Um, hold on, we, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll sleeve some of these up and kind of give it a give it a little whirl here to see what they look like. Um, but yeah, dude, like, I'm a big fan of these sleeves. I think they're actually awesome. Um, I, I, my only, it's not even a gripe. My only downside is I wish more sleeves had black backs instead of the white backs, uh, because I think the black ones just look pristine. Um, Dragon Shield does have, those with their uh, dual mats, so they have uh, the the black the black fronts or the black backs, whatever you want to call them. Um, and those are my favorite sleeves, period. Like, just my favorite sleeves ever. Uh, those are fantastic, but I really like these ones because I think they feel really, really good to play and to just kind of like shuffle up. These are the sleeves that I used um, for my... Um, uh, my calling deck in Vegas. I used the Lexi sleeves because of course, of course I used the Lexi sleeves for my Lexi deck. So if you are, ooh, this one's a little, little bent out of the, out of the package here. But if you are, um, I love how it says like Legend Story Studios on the flap. Oh dude, it gives you the art, the artist, Alexander Mokov. Dude, that's awesome. Um, that's actually really cool that they, um, credit the artist. We have, a. Uh, we have my dude, Sam Yang here, one of my favorite artists, great guy. Um, but uh, yeah, this one's a little banged up. But 
The good news is with the sleeves is they typically go over 100 just in case. So like this sleeve, we'll eat that. But we still have these. Oh, dude, look at it. It looks so good. Dude, look at the Icelander sleeve. Let's see. We didn't, we didn't give the Dromai sleeve. Oh, these are so good. These are so good. Okay, so let, let's let's sleeve these up in some stuff, right? So I actually have um, these cards that I want to sleeve them up in just to just to kind of suit them up a little bit. So we have a rainbow foil Dromai that I got at uh, the Calling Vegas. We're gonna sleeve that in a Dromai sleeve. Oh, that's so good. Yo, that's so good. Oh, I love these. These are so cool. I'm so glad Dragon Shield did this partnership with uh, uh, Legend Story Studios and Flesh and Blood. So here is that Cold Foil Cornet Peak. We'll sleeve that up in an Icelander sleeve. Because I don't have a foil Icelander, but I do have this. Well, I, I do have a foil Icelander. Uh, I have a Cold Foil one, but not of this artwork. I have the Steve Argyle one. And then last but certainly not least, we have your boy. Phi Rising Rebellion, which looks amazing in foil. And we're gonna we're gonna put him into obviously a Phi sleeve. So yeah. Like texture wise, oh, these feel really good. These feel just like the old ones. Or the old ones, the previous ones, I should say. And currently you have a lot of options because you have uh Oldham, Chain, uh, Lexi and Prism, and then you also have the tunic sleeves that were available at the Pro Tour um, and will be at other events as well. You have these three new ones from Uprising, um, and then you also have the um, you also have the dragon of uh, the dragons of legend, which were uh, these ones right here. So just as a quick comparison here, I have this Dromai deck sleeved up in those dragon of legend sleeves. Um, and uh, this is just kind of like a, a Dromai, how do I want to call this? It's like a commoner deck, but with rares that I built to play with some friends who also haven't had the opportunity to get a lot of Uprising yet. So I figured it was fair just to use common cards and rares and just kind of play around, you know, with basically the cards we got from our pre-releases and the world premiere event. And these sleeves, like I said, I've been using them at the world premiere event. I use them at my local uh, pre-release. Um, so I've played with these particular sleeves like a lot already and they've already put in a lot of work and they are just super nice. They have a really, really nice shuffle feel. The card back and texture just feels really nice because they're matte. Uh, they're not super slidey and you know slippery like um, some of the other ones are because they're matte. Um, they're just really, really fantastic. And uh, I would wager that these ones are literally the exact exact same quality they feel the exact same um yeah they also look they also look really crisp like look at the art on that the art is very very vibrant i mean compare it to here this is of course a uh you know a um foil version so it's a it's a little bit darker but like look how look how like bright and crisp that looks it looks so nice and then here's like you know how 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 just it looks through it Oh, that looks so good. These are so sweet. I'm gonna put these Icelander sleeves to a lot of work. And um, just to be curious, I don't think any of the other ones here are bent or, or anything like that. I think it's just that one, I think it's just this one got, you know, put into the box a little, a little bent up. But um, yeah, these are fantastic. They continue to be fantastic in my opinion. Um, you know what, I can even do a little, do a little shuffle here. So one second I will, Sleeve some some of the stuff up. Through the magic of editing, I have now sleeved up this Dromai deck in the Dromai sleeves. Dude, these look so good actually. Like, no joke. Like these look awesome. So let's give it the old first shuffle here to to, to see to see how how they are. Um, I do want to mention that these sleeves um, do run a little more expensive than normal sleeves, and uh, by virtue of that, I kind of consider them like premium items. And they have, you know, a very, very high quality. You're basically paying to bling out your deck. I mean, you can obviously get cheaper sleeves if you need to. You can get cheaper Dragon Shield sleeves 
if you need to. Highly recommend Dragon Shield, not just because I have a partnership with them and an affiliate link in the description down below. They don't pay me to say any of this stuff other than sending me the sleeves to just talk about. I can say whatever I want. And there's a reason I agreed to partner with them because I genuinely love Dragon Shield sleeves. They're the sleeves that I use for all of my stuff with the exception of some like, um, <laughs> some anime like waifu sleeves that I have for like we cross and stuff, but even then I make my own uh, with my own art so I can still have Dragon Shield sleeves because they are so good. And these just feel phenomenal. Just shuffling these up feels great. Um, like I said, they're not like super slidey or anything like that. Um, yeah, I highly recommend them. Like, but like I said, they are a premium uh, item with a premium price. So they are more expensive than your typical um, sleeves. But if you're like, super into Dromai or you just really want this awesome artwork or you plan on building a Dromai deck, here you go. You have them and they're great. And the same is true for Icelander and Fi here, which both look phenomenal, I gotta say. I really love this Icelander one too. It looks really nice with the white border actually. But I mean, Fi too, I mean, all those ninja fans out there, look how awesome this looks. So, so cool, so cool. So, thank you so much for watching today's video. Uh, let me know what you think down below. Um, like I said, I, I really love Dragon Shield sleeves and they have yet to make a product that I don't support. I think it's all fantastic. The app is really good. The uh, sleeves are really good. And um, yeah, even even the cool ones you can get as pricing like this, uh, uh, is this Draconic, Draconis Optimi, something like that. Give me a break. The set's not out here, not, not yet out here in the United States, but uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, definitely check out my affiliate link in the description down below if you'd like to pick up any of these sleeves. I'm gonna be using these sleeves a lot. Like, there's a reason I'm like, yeah, I'm just gonna crack this open because I'm gonna use these at the uh, drafts that I have coming up this weekend for Uprising. I plan on making a Dromai Ultimate Pit Fight deck. I plan on making Fi in Blitz and Icelander in... Uh, uh, ultimate pit fight and in cc so yeah good stuff here thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time